I wish the Ethorians would take their... I'm worried about the mercenaries we've been hiring. They outnumber the CSD, so if they ever get out of here... Yeah? Oh, you think you remotely? Oh, you think I'm... What? You're just gonna set it free? Is that a good idea? Oh, you think... Because it can lie. No one expects a droid to lie. Think of the trouble it could cause. Healing a dead planet is one thing, Chodohabat, and healing a Jedi severed from the Force is quite another. <laughs> You speak well enough, Chodo Habat, but perhaps you see all this as your chance to exert your own hold over others.
I will silence this one. I hear you. Let us end this. Falling. And now, Chodo Habat, you will die along with your herd. He intruded out, and he behind Gorupia. If that can be us, father will be behind the bot. Perhaps, but not today, Athorian. Hm. This is the best that you could muster to come to your rescue? Very well. I shall add their bodies to the dead. I hear you. Everyone down! Fallen. 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 Oh. 
Sidan el Fabadino Gandelfa, Sidan el Fabadino Gandelfa, Uri Truth Plaza, Sidan el Fabadino Gandelfa, Uri Truth Plaza, Fabuelta, Truth Plaza, Sidan el Fabadino Hoy Sidan el Sidan el Fabadino Gandelfa. Sidan el Fabad. My companion and I are awaiting ship. Nar Shada, I believe. It was the easiest destination for us to book passage to. Yes, if you insist on putting it that way, I would prefer to leave Citadel legally, though that option is currently unavailable to. Oh no, I am afraid I cannot accompany you. Yes, I. I am so terribly sorry. I would not upset him. Someone has installed an array of illegal and high- What? You are small. All utility droids are small. This short man's complex of yours makes no sense. Oh dear, you have angered him. Focus. Fallen. Uh, 
truth black. This is Admiral Seed of the Sojourn. Welcome to Telos, Admiral. This is Lieutenant Gren of the Telos Security Force. We've been expecting you for some time now. We were unavoidably detained on our way here. I hope it hasn't caused too large of a problem. Only a minor inconvenience, Admiral. We were happy to be of assistance. I think you'll be less happy when you hear what I have to say next, Admiral. What is it? A witness from the Paragus incident escaped the station. We're not sure how she managed it, but we're currently trying to recover her. I see. Don't concern yourself with it too much, Lieutenant. The Republic had decided to not detain the Exile anyways. The Exile? Then... However, I expect that these security failings will be seen to and fixed, Lieutenant. We're on them right now, Admiral. I'm uploading your approach vector to you now. Gren out. Everyone hold on tight. We should be putting down in a few seconds. Good to have you back, General. Easy now. You survived one spectacular crash. Lucky I was here to pull you and your friends out of that shuttle, or you'd be more than a little crispy. But it's only fair. I owe you more than one, General. You must be in shock from the crash. Have to expect some long-term memory loss from that. Too bad she's not a droid, huh? We can't all be that lucky. I'll humor you, General. I was one of the Iridonian mechanic corps that was at Malachor. Bayadur. I can see how you'd forget me, being that I was the only one. Don't think too hard. I'd rather not talk about the war, if we could. We all went through some tough times after Malachor, and maybe we all did a little forgetting. Guess that's one thing we've got better than droids. They can't forget anything. But then you give them a memory wipe and they forget for good. They'll be fine. The pilot's more or less unharmed, and the old lady, well, she's tougher than she looks. You know, I never thought I'd see you again, General. Galaxy's a big place. And this is the last place I thought I'd bump into you. So I have to ask, just what are you doing here? Well, if your ship's in as bad shape as this one, I don't think you're gonna have much luck. <clears throat> well, this is familiar. Feels like my last time on Telos. Crashed the shuttle that time, too? Nope, Pazak. That was not the most pleasant landing I've endured. Next time, we should perhaps seek out a more reputable pilot. You're welcome, Kreia. You know, if I weren't such a crack pilot, we could have hit the shield wall or one of those rock faces. Yes, our current situation is a vast improvement. Beats me. No one's supposed to be here but a Zerka research team. I can't say they'd be happy to see us, but shooting us down? I can't imagine Zerka having us shot down by a bunch of scientists either. You know, I caught a glimpse of what looked like an AD tower when we flew over the compound. 
Maybe they're doing something they shouldn't be. I've seen pirate bases with the same sort of setup. I can help you find it. I have access to the shield network. I came hoping to repair whatever damage your shuttle took, but not even I can fix that wreck. We'll have to get back to the compound. It's the old Athorian research station, turned into a salvage team staging area. It won't be an easy hike. First, there's a mercenary pursuit team looking for me. If Zerka secure the compound, there could be a lot of them out there. Second, there's all the Canucks. The vicious, wide-jaw predators the Athorians imported from Duxon. They were meant to keep the herbivore population in check. Right. The Canucks ate them all. Now they'll eat anything they can catch, including us. Without the Athorians to maintain the accelerated ecosystem's balance, everything here is falling apart. Zerka's killing the Restoration Project piecemeal. That's the plan. I have felt it too, my lord. A disturbance in the force. It was difficult to make out, my lord. At first it was such a quiet thing. I did not notice it. But now I wonder as if it has always been there. I merely could not hear it before. The sound built so slowly. Yet when you listen for it, you can make out the strains even over the background life of the universe. Do you feel it is a... <clears throat> you... You are the darkness in which all life dies, my lord. All life exists to feed your power and my life. My life is yours. I beg you, please, let me die. <laughs> yes, this disturbance echoes through the Force. I can follow it to its source and bring it to you. <laughs> I will leave at once, my lord.
fallen. What is it? The mercenaries have at least two hidden caches like this. We should keep our eyes open. Mercenaries, right where we need to go. That sentry droid probably spotted us already. They were probably looking for me when they saw your shuttle go down. Yes. Another sentry droid. The mercenaries must be using them to locate us. There's probably another patrol nearby.
What is it? Miratona chun raso masakan garporoto. Dona nochi. Kilipamuri ras lemo porwanga kun bis king. Dor nerendarisa kun mikiti. Teranasa farfasita. Wait, bounty? Why is there a bounty on your head? Dosokanki. Giso maranesh in sando krampa molektek. Se namaranse wana kunbes. Ching palamu. I don't think so. You'll have to come through me if you want to take the general. Guma sone. Wachido pachawa chanamaba. Yes. What is it?
I always feel a sense of calm when I walk the surface of Telos. The Athorians are truly amazing in their work. The force is strong here. Whether Chodo and his herd has anything to do with that is another matter. Can you feel anything? That is good. As a breeze may swiftly turn to a gale, you are slowly beginning to be reopened to the force. Quiet. There's a large mercenary patrol up ahead. If we move carefully along the perimeter, we may be able to get by without their spotting us. We could cross along the shore, or head along the cliffs to the south. I'll follow close. The mercenaries have at least two hidden caches like this. What is it? Yes. Yes. How do you like that? 
focus. Minefield ahead. We can pick our way through, or take the time to disarm some and clear a path. Let's go. What is it? I Let's hear go. you.
What's going on? What is it? Yeah? I hear you. Sentry droid ahead. We've been spotted again. We're close to the compound, so they'll be getting ready for us. Four. Yeah? What is it? What is it? Focus. What's going on? Yes. Going on. I hear you. There's the landing pad. Looks like we're the shop. What do we have? Corin for attack. What's 
point. Let me handle this. Fallen. Let's go. This shall not stop us for long. Fallen. General? I hear you. Hopefully I'll be able to access the shield network from this console. Good, it's functional, and my passcodes still work. Now let's find your ship. The TSF probably thinks the ship was put down in the wastes, but they don't know the planet as well as I do. 
Telos's atmosphere has been turned into acidic vapor. Landing a ship in the wastes would be like sealing it in a hangar full of hungry Minox. So that means there's probably an unsanctioned landing site somewhere on the planet. Still shielded, but not a restoration zone or other listed facility. That's why I need access to the shield network. Here, a small anomaly in the shield network's power grid. I'm not surprised the TSF didn't spot this. It's subtle, more like an error or random flux than anything suspicious. It looks like power is being drawn to generate a shield over a small area in the polar region, but nothing should be down there. Orbital cameras show nothing, just an empty mesa. We should investigate this. I feel this is the best bet of finding the Ebon Hawk. That's a little tougher. According to the computer, a shuttle is currently docked inside the research facility. At least there was at last report, though that was months ago. I don't, but that's not going to stop me. I'm getting back to Citadel if I have to build a new ship myself. There's one other small problem. Recently, Zerka teams that were sent into the military facility have not been coming out. But it's not as though we have any choice. This arm of mine isn't just for show, General. Stand back. The Zerka mercenaries were a little surprised when I broke my way out of my holding cell. The shields there were even weaker than these. After you.
I hear. What is it? Yes. I hear you. I hear you. Let me handle this. I hear you. This one. Take them down.
I hear Let's you. Go. I hear Let's you. Let's go.
hear you. I will silence this one. What is it? What is it? I hear you. I hear you. Focus. This shall not stop us for long. Fallen. Let us end this. Take them down. 
fallen. What is it? Let's go. What is it? This won't take long. What is it? Fallen. Let us... This won't take I will long. silence this one. Yes.
fallen. We have arrived too late. The target has evaded us. We must pursue it. Observation. They have likely escaped aboard the orbital shuttle that has been docked here. The Bay Control computer likely will have a record of their departure. Query. Have you discovered anything about the shuttle's course? Answer. I have managed to track the shuttle's movement across the shield network. However, the shield network does not stretch over the polar region which was the shuttle's apparent destination. Statement. Dispatch a unit to the polar region with the last known coordinates and approximate path of the shuttle. They will not escape us again. Well, this can't be any worse than last time. So that's the hole in the shield network, huh? Doesn't look like much to me. My fault.
egotistic praise. An excellent shot, even with the prevailing winds. I couldn't have done it better myself. Field assessment. I picked up on the heat forms of the Jedi and her allies. Activate the mines and prime the self-destruct sequences. statement. Oh, Jedi, it is good to see you intact. We were concerned that shooting down your shuttle would damage you irreparably. Quick clarification, but now that we have found you, we hope that we can facilitate communications. Unnecessary addendum. And put an end to hostilities. Lay down your weapons, and you shall not be harmed. I will not warn you again. Drop your weapons, or we shall take them from you. Do as they say. I sense people come to no harm. Why is it that everywhere we go, I end up in a cell? I mean, why did they lock us up? What is this place? It is a training ground for Jedi. What? This ice hole? Yes. It bears the semblance of an academy. But where are all the students? Curious. You've got to be joking. What is a Jedi Academy doing out here in the middle of nowhere? It is a place hidden from the galaxy like the Academy on Dantooine. But this place... Oh, Atris, you have been clever. Atris? It's none of your concern. Well, the sooner we're out of here, the better. Two crazy Jedi are more than enough for me. No one told me we were going to be dumped in a nest of Jedi. And what is it about this place that causes you such fear? What do you mean? We're in the middle of a bunch of Jedi. 
You know how they are. No, I do not. Not in the way you seem to. What? What are you doing? Get out of my head! Stop struggling. Let me follow the current deep, deeper to its source. Stop! Stop! Ah! Ah. With the fear is mingled guilt. It squirms in you like a worm. And the why? Ah. And there is its heart. You surprise me. I could not feel it before. Your feelings are a powerful shield indeed. Do not worry, Adden. If she is a Jedi, she will forgive. And if she is not, she will not care. You can't tell her. Please. I'm asking you. I don't want her to... Think less of you. I hardly think that's possible. Still, there is no shame in what you ask. We all wage war with the past, and it leaves its scars. I will not speak of yours, Atten, but there is a price for such things. What? What price? There are those who wage war and those who follow them. You are a crude thing, murderer, but you have your uses. You know how important this woman we travel with is. Even one such as you can feel it. You will serve her until I release you. And if I refuse? You will not. If you do, then my silence will be broken. And then, Atten, you will be broken. You fear the Jedi, and rightly so. If Atris learns of your choices, you will never leave this place. But whatever fear you hold of the Jedi, know that if you disobey me, that my punishment will make you beg for the death that has long hounded you. Wipe the fear from your mind. You will not find blind obedience a difficult master. You chose it once. You will learn to embrace it again. I don't know how you became such a manipulative witch, but why a vicious old scowl like yourself would even bother with me is a bigger mystery. No game of Dejaric can be won without pawns, and this may prove to be a very long game. You are a slippery one. Your thoughts difficult for even one such as I to read. I suspect the self-loathing that squirms within you gives you a curious strength. Your spirit, as diseased as it is, refuses to allow you to give up, no matter what threats you face and whatever wreckage you leave behind you. I feel you have crossed our path for a reason. Perhaps even you, at the right moment, may be able to turn aside disaster. If so, your potential is not yet spent. Fine. I'll be your pawn. But I still think you've got the wrong man. Perhaps. But someone has to fly the ship, and the Force is a hard thing to predict. You have crossed our path for a reason. Our path brought us here for a reason. And now I know why. The past is here, and it must be met before the future can be set in motion. Uh, more Jedi speak. Care to explain? No. I've wasted enough time with you. Sleep, murderer, and be silent. I need no distractions. A critical moment approaches. I did not expect to see you again after the day of your sentencing. I thought you had taken the Exile's path, wandering the galaxy. Yet you have returned. Why? Your ship? Ah, the Ebon Hall. It is not your ship. Unless you are admitting to the destruction of the Paragus mining facility. The Ebon Hawk is here, safe. Its records and Navi computer are being dissected to determine what caused the destruction of the Paragus facility.
If it is your ship, perhaps I should be questioning you as to what happened and why you destroyed the facility and murdered all the miners stationed there. A facility of over 150 personnel, all dead before you arrived. A childish story to mask your crime. And with the facility destroyed, you think there is no way to confirm your story. But I will pry the truth from you, I promise you that. Ah, an accident. Something beyond your control. You have not changed. Acting instead of thinking, putting yourself before the galaxy, before the Jedi. Do you know what you have done? Without the fuel from Paragus, Citadel Station cannot maintain its orbit. It will crash into the planet and its destruction will echo across 20 other worlds. Telos was a test to see if the Republic could mount a restoration effort on the Outer Rim. When it fails, the Republic will not finance another. The other Rim worlds devastated by the Sith will remain graveyard worlds, devoid of life. And that is the magnitude of your crime. So you still hold to your flawed convictions. If you think to anger me, you are wrong. How is it that you are not content to confine your ruin to yourself? You must spread it to others wherever you go. Ruin yourself with your actions if you will. But when your actions bring harm to others, then you must answer for it. The Sith? What do you mean? You speak truly. You have encountered the Sith. I can feel the scars on you. Tell me, where did you encounter them? Paragus? What would they want there? They can't have been looking for you. There are no more Jedi, except I. Like you, they turned from the Order, and now only I remain. If these Sith attacked you, they will soon realize their mistake. And if you escaped, they most likely let you go to see if you would lead them here. Whatever force they can bring to bear, it will matter not. If they face a true Jedi, they shall fall. We shall see. For now, the perspective on your situation has changed. I have your ship. I will return it to you. You must leave here before you place us in jeopardy. You shall find them north of here, in one of the old irrigation chambers. They have not been harmed. They are free to leave as well. Take your ship, then. I don't care where you go, just leave this place. Leave Telos. We shall remove her, mistress. Come with us. Are you all right, mistress? The exile reminded me of something I had forgotten. Forgive me, mistress, but I must ask, the exile... I've never seen another affect you so strongly. Was she important to you once? We all have our heroes, 
and when we watch them fall, we die inside. She made a choice once, and I did not. The day we judged her, I stood in the chamber, and she was... She was so right. She was so certain of it. I doubted myself, but not now. She will never make me doubt myself again. But now, now I am tired. I must meditate. Of course, mistress. I will tell the others you are not to be disturbed. And please, do not exhaust yourself. We can attend to matters here. Did you find what you came for? Are you certain you're ready to depart? I sense some unrest in you. There was something from your past here, something unresolved. I feel we did not come to this place by chance. You were led here. This woman who resides here, she did something to you once, something that hangs upon you still. Whatever her charm, or lack thereof, you must deal with it. Unresolved events from our past can create wounds in the present and the future. And, more importantly, they can distract you, weaken you. It could prove fatal against the enemies we face. There is a Jedi here, perhaps, in that you are correct. Yet there are no students, and this woman, this Atris, surrounds herself with those who cannot feel the Force... Curious. Plans are fragile things, and life often dashes expectations to the ground. Perhaps students will come to her in time. For now, she is surrounded by those who cannot feel the Force. No, her servants are not Jedi. Their minds are walls, trained to resist tricks of the mind. This discipline blinds them to the Force as well, even if they were Force-sensitive. Invade the mind of another? It is not something done carelessly, or when there is nothing to be gained. Very well. Let us depart. <sighs> He's only sleeping. It seems the journey here has fatigued him. I'm sorry, General. I must have lost consciousness in the crash. I'm fine, General. Even power has been restored to my arm. What is this place? Where are we? This must be where I had detected the energy readings before, and the drain to the restoration shields. This room, this place, it looks part of a huge polar irrigation system, possibly planet-wide, like the one on Coruscant. I had been told by the Republic that it was not in use. I am, General. If you wish, I may travel with you, or join you at the ship. Very well, General. I will await your arrival.
You are the exile, the one Atris warned us about. She said, you betrayed the Jedi by going to war when it was forbidden to you. You turned on your masters, your teachings, and yourself. That is not all, she says. She says you know nothing of loyalty to any cause except your own animal instincts. And she told us why you fell to the dark side. Atris says that you fell to the dark side in the Mandalorian Wars when you gave in to your lust for battle. Once you tasted war, you could not give it up. Atris says when the Dark Lord Revan returned to the Republic, you did not march with them because you had fallen so far you could no longer feel the Force. I believe that is the extent of her expressed feelings toward you. There are variations at times, but all rise from the same foundation. Yes, it is difficult sometimes for others to truly speak their heart or listen to it. The words often prove difficult, or they do not come at all. Without having seen you and Atris fight, I cannot say. Battle is a pure form of expression. It is heart and discipline, reduced to movement and motion. Perhaps, it may prove truer than conversing with words. In battle, the words are swept away, giving way to actions. Mercy, sacrifice, anger, fear. These are pure moments of expression. You may ask. I honor the face of my mother. It is not something spoken of in the company of others. I do not wish to discuss it. If there is something else you wish to ask, you may do so. There is no need to apologize. You were merely remarking on something that you saw. There is no wrong in that. It is not a sensitive subject but a subject that requires trust. There is no such trust between you and I, and such trust takes time. You may ask. Before you go, Exile, question for you, if I may ask it. You have touched the Force. What does it feel like? Please, I wish to know. It is like a cloud, a mist that drifts from living creature to creature, set in motion by currents and eddies. It is the eye of the storm, the passions of all living things turned into energy, into a chorus. It is the rising swell at the end of life, the promise of new territories and new blood, the call of new mysteries in the dark. I see. Thank you both. I appreciate you sharing your knowledge with me. You have returned. Is there something you need? I honor the face of my mother. I do not wish to discuss it. Why have you approached... Hey, do all these women look alike? <laughs> not like I'm complaining, I mean, it's... Well, it's, uh, interesting. They are Ichani. It is not unusual for their children to share similar features from the same parents. If you have a reason for approaching me, speak it. Your ship is stored in the hangar. You may ask... We share the same father, and we all bear the face of our mother. It is not unusual for the Achani of the same parents to be born so as to be indistinguishable to outsiders. As I have said, it is not unusual for the Achani of the same parents to be born so as to be indistinguishable to outsiders. If you seek to raise anger in me, you will fail, Exile. 
I tolerate your presence only upon orders of the mistress. She did not order me to endure your questions. One cannot take back an action, and often apologizing for it only compounds the insult. Simply drop the matter and be silent. You may ask. We serve the Jedi, and we watch. Atris is the only Jedi here, this is true, but the Mistress will bring others in time. You may ask. I would welcome a chance to instruct you. I have been anxious to teach you many principles of combat ever since you invaded this place. Oh yes, we train extensively in various combat styles, and we have not had another target for some time. You may prove a pleasant diversion. Very well, follow me, and we shall see if you have the endurance to learn the most basic of our teachings. Before we begin, are you familiar with the Chani traditions? All duels between us shall be without armor of any kind. There shall be no restrictions upon our movements or upon yours. Your feet are not to leave the training mat during the battle. If they do, you will lose. Also, this is not a fight to the death. Restrain your instincts when we fight, and we shall do the same. The fight will be with hands and feet only. No stimulants, shields, weapons, or other items. Also, do not call upon any Jedi techniques during our contest. If you do, then the battle will be over. In turn, 